welcome back to the channel. Um, I promise to do a giveaway. So what I'm going to do here in this video is just kind of give you an idea about the uh, the Garmin Steadicast. Kind of, I'm going to show a little bit of video of how I've been using it, and then that's right. At the end of the video, we're going to learn. We're going to give one away. I'm going to give a Steadicast away from ChattyBoys.com. That's going to be awesome. But first, let's just get into a little short video. You know, it's baseball season. I hadn't been putting out a lot of videos. Uh, I coach and stuff like that. So I uh, hadn't been putting out a lot of videos, but I, I'm going to put out a video today. We're going to talk about just some of the ways I've been using it. And then in a few weeks when baseball season winds down, we'll hit the videos hard again, start hitting the lessons again and things like that. But let's get into this little short segment. And then at the very end, we'll talk about how we're going to give that steady cast from chatty boys away all right so what you see here now is you'll see my live scope beam is heading out to the right i'm going forward now normally when you calibrate your live scope this is going to read correctly but watch i'm going to turn around and i'm going to push the boat backwards now notice this notice now the map is perfectly still staying perfectly aligned i'm actually going backwards notice the map is not flipping directions now this is allows me to have a more accurate representation on the map. Beforehand, when you started drifting backwards, whether it be the wind or whatever, the map would flip. It is no longer flipping. And you'll notice that that live scope beam still very, very accurate on the map. Now, how can this be a good deal? Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go up to this tree and I'm gonna make a waypoint on that tree. And I'm gonna get uh, downwind and I'm gonna let the boat drift. And what we do is we'll be able to use that right there, the mapping to stay on. And imagine that, you know, imagine this tree being below the water where you can't see it. I know visually we can see the tree, but uh, visually uh, being able to see the tree, you're not always able to visually see everything. It, it, these could be brush piles in deep water or log jams or whatever. It could be just a hump out in the water. And a lot of times when that map starts spinning, it makes it very, very hard to find things and to get your live scope onto what you need to see properly. So let's do that right now. Now I want to show you exactly what, uh, you know, what it improves. Now when we mark a waypoint uh, with just the calibration of the live scope, it, it's very dependent on whether or not the boat is going forward. If you're turning the boat, it can throw variances in a lot of things, but if you'll notice here, I marked that tree. Now that's waypoint, I believe that's the waypoint number one. But as you notice, as I'm turning a circle, there the map's not flipping, it's staying very consistent. And what I want you to notice is not only that, it's just how accurate this waypoint is. Now notice right there, number one, right in the middle of the screen, if you look on the right side, it's right in the middle uh, of the live scope beam, which is about 30, 35 foot out. And it's, and just, it's just so accurate. And when you're fishing for say crappie on brush tops and things like that, having those perfectly accurate waypoints, especially after you mark them, and then you want to come back to them. The wind's blowing, it's blowing the boat forwards and backwards and things like that. The steady cast will, will allow you to be, can, you know, keep yourself perfectly on those waypoints and those brush piles and therefore you're going to be able to catch more fish all right guys um pretty cool it, it shows you the uh how i use it how it makes it more accurate in terms of the map spinning and things like that and we're going to really dig into this later on down the road uh as we get you know back to doing more of the videos and things like that and how we're using it with the live scope and things like that but uh how are we going to give the video away i want you to share this video and um, and when you share it, uh, make sure you put chattyboys.com in the comments. And when you share the YouTube video, I'm going to go and see who shared it. I'm going to pick a random winner. Random winner. Going to get a steady cast from chattyboys.com. Uh, tag me. Uh, tag Chatty Boys in the comments. on And, uh, if you, you know, share it. Most people share it on Facebook, so that's just the best place to share it. Share the video on Facebook, share it on your page, share it somewhere. Tag me, tag, uh, which is Randy Carpenter, um, or tag it, tag chat, and tag Chatty Boys, and we're going to give that away. But, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and you know we're going to start doing it again. Ring the bell.